mm. usual, I have already um, moisturized my skin and applied my eye cream. I did not use a primer just because normally I don't. They they break me out. So I'm just going to go ahead and with my foundation. And I have been pretty clear, like for the most part. And then last night I noticed I was breaking out again. And then I woke up with some nice red places. So, um, but I thought I would go ahead and do this foundation routine for you anyway. It's probably going to work out better. And then that way you can get a true judgment of the uh, coverage of this foundation. So, I sacrifice for you guys. <laughs> I'm going to be using Revlon Photo Ready today. The color I have is Shell. And I just use one pump on the back of my hand and really any brush. Uh, today I have this one from Sedona Lace. This is the 480. And I'm just going to start out with my cheek and buff that in. This foundation has a fairly uh, thin consistency and I find it very easy to blend. The coverage is buildable. As you can see with one thin layer, it gives very light coverage. You can still see my imperfections pretty, pretty well. Oh, I'm so sorry about my squeaky chair. So annoying. Okay, so I'm just going to do like another half pump and go over the areas that need a little bit more coverage. And I'm just kind of patting over them, but blending at the same time. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I am avoiding my eye area. I try to keep um, less product there as possible because my under eyes are super dry. And I do have some fine lines, and if I put too much product there, it just does not look good. Okay, so that pretty much is like one and a half pumps of foundation. So you can see that the coverage was buildable. So now I'm going to go ahead and do some concealer. And for my under eyes, I'm still using my CoverGirl and Olay Corrector. I just love this stuff. And I put some right underneath. This is actually darker than my skin right now, but I go over this with a really... Um, like highlighting concealer so it it really doesn't matter it still cancels out the discoloration that I have under there and right now I'm using the Maybelline Dream Lumi concealer this is an ivory I'm almost done as you can see and I cannot tell you how many times I've repurchased this I went through several of these and I'm just gonna go right here and do a little bit of highlighting right um, on the tops of the cheekbones there. Let's see, and currently, <laughs> this is the only concealer I have that's pale enough for covering like imperfections on my face. It does not have good coverage, but um, I'm gonna just go ahead and add some extra coverage to those breakouts. And then I'm just gonna use my finger and just pat over that. You can use like a beauty blender or whatever if you want to. I'm going to use my e.l.f. HD um, under eye setting powder. I'm just going to use a tiny little bit because I do not want them to look dry and cakey but I actually really like this powder and then for the rest of my face to set all that I'm gonna use MAC MSF in medium and just as a reference if you all um, are not aware these run so light like this is called medium and it is super duper pale just FYI. That is the, like the base. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my cheek products too because I like seeing that in foundation routines and I like seeing how 
blush and bronzer and that sort of thing go over a foundation. So for a little bit of contouring, I'm going to use NARS Laguna. It's just a little um, small size. Gonna do a little bit down the sides of my nose. I think that helps uh, bring some color like towards the center of my face when I'm um, this fair. And then for blush, I'm gonna use this really pretty color by Jordana, and this is called Rose Silk. It's just a really light matte, like mauvey pink color. And then recently my favorite part has been the highlighter and I'm going to use Mary Luminizer from The Balm. And you all, I love this brush. This is from e.l.f., the studio line, and it's called the Small Tapered Brush. It is perfect for your powder highlighting jobs. I'll go ahead and show you my lipstick too. I'm going to go ahead and use the Urban Decay Naked Lipstick. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's just so natural and pretty. Okay, for my eyes, just if you're curious, I used this little um, palette from Rimmel. It's called Glamaz HD. And this one is called Heart of Gold. I actually got this in a swap from Kristen Beauty Moxie. We did the $40 drugstore swap back in the summer. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. But I really, really enjoy this. And every time I wear these colors, I get compliments. Um, they're really, really nice. But anyway, so this is my face routine with the Revlon Photo Ready. I mean, you know, the blush and stuff that changes all the time. But... Um, I do really like it. But anyway, uh, perfect for dry skin, for dull winter dry skin, which is totally me. So, um, and really affordable too, that foundation. You can find it, you know, everywhere. So I really, really hope you guys liked this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And look in the info bar. I'll list out all the products I used today if you missed anything, as well as Twitter and Instagram and, um, you know, my links and that sort of thing. So subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I hope you guys are doing great and I will see you next time. Bye.